What's up guys, it's Matt Trons Jones here, MCJ, back with another video on Power Automate and today we are looking at SharePoint Actions and we're going to start with the action Add Attachment. This action allows you to add files and attachments to a SharePoint item. So you have a, a SharePoint list, the list has items and you may want to attach one or multiple files to that uh, list or to that list item. Uh, this is the action and this is how to do it, so let's jump into it. So I'm in Power Automate here, I'm in the new designer and I'm going to add a trigger in. For the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm just going to use the manual trigger because that will allow me to upload a file and I don't need to mess around um, adding files and, and grabbing things from, from OneDrive. If you wanted to automate this in the future, you could um, grab files, say, from uh, an email that's coming in or a, One, or a OneDrive link or something like that or another SharePoint uh, site. So what we'll do is we'll search for manual trigger and we'll find this one here. Uh, one of the things we can do uh, is add an input for manual trigger. So manual, manual trigger is one of my favorite things to, to use and one of the things that you can do is you can add an input and you get all these different input types. So text, yes or no, file, email, number and date. For this we're going to choose file and we can uh, give it a name if you want to. So um, uh, we can uh, file load uh, and it says please select file or image. Um, we can also run one. Um, ah, that's interesting. Um, in the old designer, you could make this uh, mandatory or not. Um, in the new designer, it doesn't look like you can. So that's interesting. Um, once we have our inputs there, we'll go and take a look at our actions. So we'll add a new action underneath and we will search for SharePoint. And we'll choose see more. And we'll choose this one right at the top, add attachment. So click on this. Now in here, it's going to ask us for several things. It's going to ask us for the site address, the list name, the ID of the item, the file name, and the file content. So in this instance, we're going to use one of our, one of our demo SharePoint sites we've been using through this series. We're going to choose the MCJ site one. The list name, we're going to choose MCJ list one. Uh, and you can use environment variables for this. You can uh, pass content from other ones. So if you want this to trigger from a SharePoint site and update that same SharePoint site, you can use dynamic content in here um, to pass these credentials through. Um, I'm just hard coding this in for the purpose of this video. Um, the same thing with ID as well. So each item in SharePoint will have an ID. There is an ID column and we want to provide it with the idea of what we want to do. Most times you'll probably get this again from a piece of dynamic content. So maybe you are um, triggering this on an email coming in. When the email comes in, you don't take the, the sender and the subject and something and store that in, in a SharePoint item. What And then later on, you'll use an action to add some attachments to it, that, that sort of thing. In this instance, I'm just trying to hard code in the value. So I'm going to switch over to my SharePoint site. This is my MCJ site one and MCJ list one. And in here, I've got all of my SharePoint items and I've shown the ID column. So this is a, an automatically generated column in SharePoint to give a unique identifier to each each item. Uh, we'll just go with this one at the st uh, one at the top, test one. Uh, we'll click into it. You can see it's got no attachments at the moment. So this is where you can add or remove attachments. This one doesn't have attachments. So this one's ID is just number one. So we'll hard code that in. So we're here, we'll type one. File name and file content. So for the file name, we're actually going to need to write a, a name in, in this example. Unfortunately, the manual trigger doesn't provide any other sort of metadata about the file that you're uploading, so it can't see the name or anything else. It's a bit of a limitation of this uh, trigger, but again, this is just for testing purposes. So uh, what we'll do, and I'll just show you that, that it doesn't show anything. So if I click in here, um, or if I click on see more, um, oh, file upload name. That's interesting. I was I was using this in um, I was using this in the old designer, and it did not give me the file input name, upload name. I'm going to take everything back, so I'm going to use this instead. So I'm going to use file upload name. Uh, it's interesting when you test this in the old designer, and then switch to the new designer, and then start recording the video. So now you know. Uh, file content. Uh, again, in the old designer, it used to be called just uh, file, file details or file, file content, whoop, for one. 
uh, but in this one it's called uh, content bytes I've just seen. So if I click on the add dynamic content, click see more and scroll down, file upload content bytes, that's the thing that we need. Um, I'm hoping that by using the file upload name, it's going to include the extension, but we will see. <laughs> So um, it's always interesting to try this online. Um, so we'll save this up and we will give it a test. Now let's save, we'll go over to test. We'll choose a manual trigger to manually perform the action. We'll click test. Uh, okay. A few moments later. Cool. So I just refreshed the page, I came back to it, I clicked upload, I clicked test, and we now have this. So it must just be the, the new designer uh, having having some some moments today. So file upload. Please that's file or image. We'll click import. Uh, I'm in my pictures, so I'll just grab a picture and add it in. And we'll click on run flow. So the, the picture is called Excel Tech Deck JPEG. We'll see if it maintains the file extension. We have some green ticks. It looks like it's all done. Uh, we'll click on this. Uh, we'll see in the body, ah cool, display name Excel Tech Deck JPEG. So hopefully it's found it all correctly. So let's go take a look at our list item. So here's our list item. This is the ID of one, so I'll click on this. And we can see, ah cool, Excel Tech Deck JPEG. If we click this, opens up, and here is our image that we uploaded to SharePoint. So nice, nice and easy and, and super useful. So yeah, that's that's how this action works. Um, a lot of people, I, I don't really know why, but a lot of people do like to store uh, certain details of emails and things like that in SharePoint. Um, and especially if people are sending across uh, multiple images and things like that in email or multiple documents, they may want to upload them. So they have like a, maybe like a, a communications log, etc., that they can refer back to. That's one example of how you can use this. Um, other examples are things like if you're trying to clear down storage in like data, Dataverse or SQL databases, you could potentially move um, move out attachments to SharePoint where storage is a lot cheaper. Uh, although you potentially want to use a, a document library for that and not, not the attachments, but it's got versatility. So loads of different ways to do it. And I found out something new about the new interface today because um, I tested this in the old interface because I'm in a solution at the moment. So it's really interesting. Um, the new design has been updated all the time, there's loads of new features, it's all really great, so check it out. I really hope you like this video. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, if you could like or, or, um, or comment down below, that would be great. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.